Hi everybody, 860 Cologne here with another video. This time I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of Gucci Guilty Absolute. Now Gucci Guilty Absolute came out in 2017. I got a bottle ordered online and I've been waiting to open it because I know some of you guys out there like these unboxings so let's get to it. Can you guess where I got it from? Our knife today is brought to you by Care Mail. Alrighty, here we go. So, packing slip, some crap about eating healthy, and the one thing I'll say about Macy's packing, it leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, this is just, well, this is actually better than I'm used to. Sometimes I've just had a piece of paper thrown in the box, you know, not wrapped at all. At least this one was wrapped, so that's nice. So, here is the box. Very nice, unassuming box. In some of the pictures I've seen online, it almost looks like a tester box because of the muted brown color and the, the contrast on the Gucci Guilty Black is not as sharp as I would uh, have hoped. But anyway, let's open this puppy up. Not sure how much this is going to be seen on camera, I'm kind of squeezed in here. I'm not going to try to get out of here and take pictures before I open this, but the seam down the back is a little bit off center, so no big deal there. On the top, the seam for the folds looks to be affixed with a glue or some sort of um, heat adhesive. Same thing on the bottom there. On the side, there's nothing, so. That's part of the cellophane. I like looking at cellophane on different bottles. If you know me, you know I don't do many displays or presentation, but just to know that a fragrance is kind of legit, I like to point out things like that because I see it all the time where people say, say oh, my seam wasn't right in the middle. This must be a fake. No, just calm down. So let's pop this puppy open. Smooth outside of the box there. Just a nice cardboard. No writing yet on the inside. Pop it out. And there she be. This is a beautiful bottle. I got the 5 ounce 150 mil and if you've ever wondered about Gucci fragrances, especially the Guilty line, you notice I just opened this up. You see how much space is there? I can't tell you how many customers say, why isn't that full of the top? I, I need a bottle that's full. No, you need to get a brain because this is five ounces here. The bottle is not going to be full to the top because if it was in shipping, it'd probably explode. I had to go through so many customers, mainly with like the stupid shower gels. I want one that's full. Drives me crazy. Anyway, so we have Gucci Guilty Absolute printed on both sides, giving a nice mirrored effect. Clear glass this time with the nice amber colored juice. On the bottom is just a round sticker that has the batch code on there, the volume made by Cody. I wasn't aware this was Cody now. Interesting. And, and, you know, Paris, all that kind of stuff. Eau de Parfum. This is an Eau de Parfum. And it says it should last 35 months after being opened. Taking the cap off, we have black inside. Just number 17 
inside there with a few ridges and everything. The sprayer itself is black, a little bit of offset black so you can tell where the sprayer is. Let's give this puppy a try. Now, this is an unboxing, however, I've been living with this fragrance for about two or three weeks now, and it's a Gucci Guilty fragrance, but holy crap do I like it. This is right up my alley, and I know it's not going to be for some of you, but let's get into the notes while this starts drying down. For the product details, this is what is on the Macy's website. Created for a man who defines his own masculinity, Gucci introduces Gucci Guilty Absolute, a modern declaration of self-expression and emancipated sexuality. Born out of a special collaboration between creative director Alessandro Michele and maitre parfumeur Alberto Morias, Gucci Guilty Absolute embodies the liberated man it is made for. An innovative expression of a man's woody scent. I should have read that first. Um, so this is an expression of a man's woody scent. Yeah. All right. So the top notes they list here. And this is getting a little bit ridiculous. These are trademarked notes. Top note of wood leather. One word. Trademarked. Heart notes. Golden wood. Two words. Trademarked. Base notes is a trio of patchouli, oils, and vetiver. Tells me nothing. Let's hope that Fragrantica has a better grab of things. Top notes include leather. Heart is made of patchouli and the base captures golden wood and vetiver. So they're being a little bit secretive about the notes. It's fine. I don't care. It smells good. So on Fragrantica it says here created using our particular blend with a structure that remains unchanged from the first time it is applied to the skin. So basically they're saying this is a linear fragrance which I know some designer fragrances have been touting that. I don't really care if it's linear or has a nice development. Some people can't stand wearing a linear fragrance. I don't get that. doesn't make any difference to me. If it smells good, it smells good. Out of the bottle. Right away, I get a petrol note an oily, gasoline-type note that takes me in the area of the original Fahrenheit. Not quite there because there's no lavender in this that I can sense. This is more, even more so, reminding me of like being in a car garage where someone's working on cars with the oils and the petroleum products and everything like that and I really like that note. This is what I'm sure is going to be turning some people away with this fragrance but it's what made me actually buy a Gucci Guilty fragrance myself. This time wearing it I'm getting a little bit more sweetness that I haven't gotten before. Uh, I have sprayed from the tester bottle at Macy's and uh, wasn't quite getting the sweetness but I just showered, so it may be just something happening with the reaction to the soap that I used. Now, I will say that right off the bat, this is pretty potent. It jumps out at you and kind of grabs you by the nose. It settles down quite a bit just after a few minutes, but it's still there. Now, the whole thing about this being what I interpret as a linear fragrance I don't see that because the petroleum note that I love does tend to fade away more into the background of the woods and those woody elements like that. Not a bad thing at all. Probably a good thing for most people out there. This one is definitely 
let this sit on the card or sit on your skin before you make your final decision. Performance on this one was pretty good to me. I'm not going to be one to buy a fragrance that does not perform well unless it absolutely blows me away. This one doesn't absolutely blow me away. It's a very nice fragrance and it doesn't pump out as much as I thought it might. But that's probably going to be a good thing, especially in the summer. Longevity actually was above average for me. I did notice it stayed on my skin quite a long time. I had to get pretty close. It stays within an arm's length after about an hour or so. So this is a nice way for me to wear a more bold fragrance without worrying about other people around me in rehearsal or in a closed environment. I'm going to say the seasons for this fragrance are definitely going to be fall and winter. It will be interesting to see how it performs in the summer since it's not really pumping out all that much. I have a feeling it will be a little bit too much during the summer so fall and winter is where this one is going to lie. Not a work scent I don't believe unless you're working at a bar or something like that in an open area but definitely a going out and getting noticed scent because when they get close enough to you or on the dance floor it'll probably permeate enough that you will be noticed. I did get some compliments on this one and even if I didn't it wouldn't have mattered because I like this one a lot myself. This is almost almost worthy of a signature scent for some people. I, I can see it being a signature scent for some people. If you like the other Gucci Guilties, this one may not be for you. The original Gucci Guilty, I didn't like myself. I would have never purchased it. It's a nice fragrance, great clubbing fragrance. This is a great fragrance for after you've gone clubbing, you got the girl, and you're sitting at home in front of your fireplace or out in front of a bonfire, out in the woods. This is what you wear for a more settled down man. Because of that, I'm going to have this age range probably after college and up. This will probably come off to people as an old man fragrance and I will accept that totally. It really does harken back to some of the more powerful 80s fragrances, the powerhouse fragrances from back then. Not with as much punch to your face after you spray it, but the impact is still there. Now the nose for this fragrance is very well known in the fragrance community Alberto Morillas, probably most widely known for creating the original Aqua de Joe and also CK1. This is his first fragrance for Gucci and it really shows. This is one of the things that I'm so happy about is that Gucci seems to have gotten their head out of their asses and have started making some good fragrances. It hasn't been since this puppy came out, which I'm so happy to have recently purchased. This is the original Gucci Guilty Pour Homme. This was probably their last great fragrance. Gucci Guilty 2 was pretty good as well, but this one and this one, you can see the lineage here where this one is coming from finally adding to the great Gucci fragrances. Alberto Morillas seems to be a great guy in addition to being a great perfumer with a wonderful sense of humor. There are some YouTube videos where they follow him around at his work which I think is Givaudin, I'm not sure, but great sense of humor added to that the uh, his use of the English language uh, really made those videos a lot of fun to watch. 
and he's done fragrances for just about everybody by Killian, uh, Voulez Vous Coucher Avec Moi, uh, a whole bunch of fragrances, a lot for Armani, but like I said, the first one for Gucci, and hopefully this new person at Gucci is recognizing that they were a powerhouse for fragrances back in the day, and I think this, although it may not be for everyone, will herald in a new age of great fragrances for Gucci. Now the prices on this, this is where it gets a little bit extreme. Gucci has gone to a 3 ounce or 90 ml bottle as their typical bottle for a long time, as opposed to the 3.3, 3.4 ounce, 100 ml bottle. So they've already been a little bit high. And the Gucci Guilty Extreme that just came out for three ounces, 88. This is 99 for a three ounce bottle, 90 milliliters. Going up a little bit to the five ounce, which is what this bottle is, 150 milliliters. This is 125, I believe. Yes, 125. So, there may be a smaller bottle coming out later. I don't see it listed here, and I haven't seen it in the store yet, but that's a lot of money. The three-ounce bottle is $33 an ounce. The five-ounce bottle comes down to $25 an ounce. Still, pretty hefty for a designer fragrance. However, I'm not too mad about it. I'm not going to try to predict, well, yeah, I think I will try to predict. Hopefully, this one will be a success, but I have a feeling it's going to be at the discounters by the end of 2017, because it's not going to appeal to everyone. That opening is kind of harsh. Now, the ratings on this one, the on Fragrantica, the bar ratings, a lot of people seem to love this fragrance. Uh, not too many people seem to hate it, but the rating itself only gets a 3.89 out of 5, and that's with 130 votes so far. That does not quite mesh up with the graph there on the love, like, or dislike, but I'm thinking that will come up a little bit more later on. On Parfumo.net, it's an 8.5 out of 10, and the amount of people that did that, that's only 17 ratings. But for my rating, I'm going to go right with Parfumo, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I think this is a great fragrance, and it made me buy a Gucci Guilty, and I've just got to get used to saying that if people ask me what I'm wearing. Not that Gucci Guilty is a bad fragrance at all. It's just not one that I ever thought that I would wear from that line. So there it is. That's my unboxing and review for Gucci Guilty Absolute. Let me know if you have tried this and what your feelings are and how you think it compares to the others in the Gucci Guilty line. And please comment down below. If you can, like and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon.